then I'm gonna stream on live. Okay, so it looks like it's going to go to my personal information page. I'm going to put it on my personal timeline and just share it to my business. All right, all right. Good evening, everybody. Happy New Year. It is 2022. We are finally here. I am so excited. Um, so this year I am kicking off. I'm going back into um, behind right, the monthly box. Right. And um, sorry, I'm sharing as well as um, talking, but um, I wanted to go back to meeting the brains behind the brands, I like to call it. So for the January box, the January theme is affirm and reset. And one of the items I have in the January box is this awesome book, 90 Days of Self-Awareness. Uh-oh. The, 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 do you have it, Tawana? I try to get fancy with my virtual background so you can't see the book. Uh, 90 Days of Self-Awareness, Self-Esteem. Is that the one? Self, self-Awareness, Self-Esteem? Or is it the self-care and self-love? Self-awareness, self-esteem, and self-confidence. Self, self-awareness, self-esteem, self-confidence, and self-love. Okay, yes. self worth. Mm -hmm. So we are going to talk about this awesome book for a little bit. But before we start, I am speaking with Tawan Lowe. Tawan, thank you so much for taking the time tonight Thank to talk you. with me. I'm so excited to have you as part of my box this month. Um, excited and to I'm, <laughs> I'm even more excited for my subscribers to get a hold of this box, this book, preferably because this looks like this is um, a gem. So let's start first. Let's talk about your journey for a little bit because you're more than an author. You've got a lot of things going on. So uh, tell us a little bit about Tawan Lowe and her entrepreneurial journey. Well, let's see. I've been an entrepreneur since I was 16, believe it or not. Um, my mother has had me into everything possible. I was in junior achievement, and that's where it started, being an entrepreneur. I've gone from being a caterer, because I love to cook, um, into morphing into my real purpose. And my purpose really is to serve and to help people. And my biggest goal is to help people to maximize their potential so they can show up as their best selves and create their best lives. And I do that as a coach, as a consultant. I do that with individuals and with organizations. And another piece of my business is TLC Publishing Company, which is just grateful that you have taken this opportunity to put this book in your box because it's helping us with getting exposure and empowering your members. So we are grateful for the opportunity and we definitely thank you. So that's that's me in a nutshell. I am a coach, consultant, publisher, um, and, and I'm not going to say I'm all things because that I am not, but I am definitely someone, <laughs> you know, I do a lot of things, but I'm definitely that person when, um, if you want to find your purpose, you want to manifest your vision. I am that pit bull who can do that for you because I'm very goal oriented and I help people do their goals and stick to it. I love that. I love, I love the fact that you say you, you're a pit bull. So you're going to make sure they get, they get this done. <laughs> <laughs> and they do the work. So how, how did yeah, you get here? They like do the work. You, how did you get to this place where you wanted to empower women and you wanted to help them, help them. Um, see their self-worth and, and, and work on, um, do the inner work? How did you get here? Two. Two, two ways. It was two pathways that got me to this point. The first one was I was going through my second divorce and I was looking for how was I going to pivot 
um, into my next and what was my next going to look like. And as I was doing that, I was, you know, I was just looking at what my gifts and talents were and the things that I did and did fail. I always wanted to be a therapist, but I was told when I was in this program that I should not be a therapist because I really, my tongue a little sharp, you know, it was like, you got to work on your bedside, <laughs> something. Um, <laughs> so I started looking into coaching and different things to better myself, mentors and coaches. And then I started looking into it as a profession. But then I went to work one day and this young lady was like, look, I'm having this issue at work. I'm having this issue at home. Can you help me? And, you know, I started helping her and she said, you should really be a coach. And I said, wow. She said, I always come to you. Do you know how many people really come in here and sit and talk to you? And when I started thinking about it, I was like, well, I always wanted to be a therapist. A coach is not far off from a therapist. Maybe now I'm a little older and a little bit more mature and I can handle this a little differently. So then I just started my journey on becoming that. And I want to say, because I spent half of my life um, not believing I could be who I could be. So mm -hmm. when I came out of that, I wanted to make sure nobody else ever be in that place because I think it's a terrible place that you don't know what your purpose is and you're questioning that past your thirties. I think mm -hmm. that's not a good yeah. place to be in. And I don't want okay. to see anybody be in that place. Um, so that was my motivation. Divorce, starting over, helping somebody else and really finding my own freedom and knowing that I could be whoever I wanted to be if I just didn't listen to all the other sound bites in my head. Mm. So, so that's how I got here. I love that. If you didn't listen to the other sound bite bites in your head, I love that because it's very easy. <laughs> it's very and I did it for so long. Yeah. You know, I did it for so long that I was just like, how I get here and feel like I have no direction. Mm. very intelligent woman so how I get here so then I realized it was all those sound bites and I was like oh we got to figure out how to silence that because no yeah mm. I love that and here we are here you are and here so we let's, are. Talk, let's talk about this 90 days of self-awareness self-esteem self-confidence and self-worth presented by Tawan Lo. Tawan you know what I love about this that it's okay so me being um, <laughs> the Gemini that I am have a, has a little issue with structure and, and, and um, discipline. I love <laughs> that this is, <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I love that this is a, truly a 90 day call to action. So you're kind of like forced to open this book every single day for 90 days. What made yes. you design this book this way? Because I, I, I think this is super dope. So I had, my brain is every, everybody needs a little TLC. So I had this idea. I wanted to do this book. And I'm like, like, okay, God, I want to do this book by myself. I, I just don't want to do this by my. I mean, it became overwhelming just thinking about it. And I was like, I got other things going on. So I kind of pushed it to the side. Then one day I woke up in the middle of the night. And he was like, I want you to do this as a compilation book. It is a three series book. And I'm going to give you the nine titles. And you're going to break the book up that way. Like, oh, okay. And then when I woke up the next morning, I truly believed that I was just hallucinating. I was like, that really did not happen. But when I started putting things in place, it was just, the door was just opening from this to this. People were just coming in so they'd be a part of the project. And it just went so smoothly. And I have to say that it was divine. It was godly divine because I wouldn't have come up with it the way I did. I wouldn't have come up with the structure. Um, all I wanted to do was just write something, give you a little tad bit tip. But in this book, I insight. You have um, affirmations. It gives you declaration every day. And I tell you, the office in this book is from the age of 16 to 60. What? When I tell oh, people I that there know. is a 16-year-old who wrote, who um, put things in this book, and when you read her stuff, you're like, 16? She wrote it like she has lived life and had some experiences and she understood the assignment and she came through and it actually was my 
graduation gift to her, I gifted her to be an author in the book, and that was my graduation gift for her to be a author. Wow. So do you know any of her chapters by heart? I would love to go straight to it. Okay. Um, let me see. Her name is Angie. Angie Brown, and um, I do not know her pages right off. Okay, that's that's totally fine. That is totally fine. But I, that is um, Angela Jewel Brown. That's super dope. So I'm gonna read. Oh, page twenty nine. Page twenty nine. Let's go. Let's go to Angela. You know you. Day eight. You know you, you know who you are, including your flaws and strengths. You are focused and strong. Knowing who you are is a strength that will propel you to greater heights. Once you recognize who you are, the world can't restrain you from living out your potential. Declaration, today I am aware of who I was, who I am now, and the person I have the potential to be. I am comfortable in my skin, Angela Jewel Brown. 16. Come 16. on now. 16. Okay. 16. And I was just like, and when I tell you she got it on first, you know, when we sent in the first draft, I said, here, Auntie, here's my, here's mine. I said, okay. And I said, okay, do you want to change anything? She said, no, that's her. I said, come wow. on, bring that's it. And that it work. And when you think about the subjects that we're talking about, to have that kind of esteem and confidence in yourself mm -hmm. at 16, we still have grown women trying to get to that place. So to already be there at 16, she's going to be something to be reckoned with. That's, yeah. that's what I know. And right that now is. she is a junior in college and is doing well. I'm sure she is. That is mm -hmm. quite insightful for a 16 year old. That is amazing. So for all of you guys that are watching, first, thank you. Um, and if you're just tuning in, I am speaking with Talon Lowe. She is a consultant, author, um, a tea connoisseur. Do you make the tea? Yes. Do you, okay, we're going to talk about that a little bit. Um, but I brought her on here because she will have her anthology book, 90 Days of Self-Awareness, Self-Esteem, Self-Confidence, and Self-Worth in our January Affirm and Reset box. And I wanted to curate the January box this way. Um, because we always want to start anew for January, right? We always want, we always want to um, set our goals and set. I stopped doing resolutions a long time ago. Thank um, you. I always, I always say I want to be intentional. Um, mm -hmm. Every year, I want to be more intentional than I was the year before. I just want to be better than I was the year before and continue to vibrate higher. Um, and that's how I see it. Um, so I wanted to curate this special box just to help us, just to you know, wipe the slate clean. The last two years have been difficult for, I, I would like to say, I would say for all of us, it's, it's been a rough road. Um, so I'm coming into 2022 on a whole different vision, a whole different light. And I wanted to curate the box that way. So I thought this book, or I know this book perfectly fit in with our theme um, this month. And I just, know and hope and pray you guys will enjoy it as much as I'm going to enjoy it because you know I might even start like a hmm I'm gonna reach out to my subscribers maybe we can do like a book club type of thing with your book and and go through the days together I think that would be pretty dope I mean let me that sleep on it if I can organize it properly uh, we'll probably do that but yes so 90 days of self-awareness self-esteem self-confidence and self-worth is in our January affirm and reset book so on, this is a super dope book. Thank you so much. So let's You're talk welcome. about um, let's talk about your tea business for for a little bit because that's that's what I do, right? I talk about I support and talk about black owned businesses. So let's talk about your tea business for a little bit. What's the name of it? it tea Lovers Cafe, sticking in my brand of everybody needs a little TLC. Um, I've been in business tea business for about two years, two and a half years now, and I got into the tea business because like you, I had a subscription box and I was looking for different teas. I love tea. I'm like, okay, this is a personal development box. You know, we always can use tea when we need to sit down and settle and do our affirmations or when we're journaling or something like that. But I really couldn't find a tea company that I like that I was willing to invest my money in. So I mm. thought, 
looking for ways that I could curate to myself. Companies that I could work with, they could do some blends for me, or maybe I could buy blends from them at a wholesale, whichever way. And I found three different companies that I could with. So I said, well, let me try this out. So I tried it out in my subscription box. And people was, where can we get the tea? Where can we get the tea? Mm -hmm. And I was like, huh. And it's funny because I kept saying, God, I want to increase my territory. I want this. And he said, why don't you use what you have in your hand? What does that mean? He said, use what you have in your hand. And it was so funny. I mean, he said that for a couple of things, the book as well. And he said, people want your tea. You love tea. Have a tea business. There's not that many African-American tea businesses. Mm -hmm. Have your tea business. So I started the tea business. It has been blossoming and growing. Um daily I want to say it really has been doing well and I, I mean just ordering tea from different places and you know when something's meant from you um, yeah it's meant for you I was with this guy to help me um just doing articles around tea and he said can I introduce you to somebody they have a tea business and you might be interested in trying some of their teas and and I was like sure and Lo and behold, we can ready to start a relationship because the teas that they sent me as a sample, when I say some kind of good, I was like, oh, okay. So I'm like, so I, I mean, so I just love tea. So yeah. I was investing to something that I like. I don't mind selling um, mm -hmm. something that I believe in, things that I know that has some healthy pro um, properties for you. I'm right. not saying all my tea, healthy tea, not saying that it is good drinking tea. That's what I'm right. saying. Mm -hmm. but it's also something that's good for you. So that's how I got into the tea business. And I um, it's, and it's morphing into it. I'm getting more awareness business. People are starting to know we do. We have products. We not just, we sell all premium loose leaf tea. So okay. I'm now looking into a way of getting them, making them tea bags. And we do a fresher now. So we're trying to, and I also, if anybody is interested, it, corporate gifts okay. and good swag okay. bag gifts and they're uh -huh. good bag gifts so we kind of gotten into that um providing sales and things for swag bags and things like that. so very I'm good. excited about the tea business yeah um i yes you sent me a couple samples and i believe i think it was a white tea that you mm -hmm. sent that i enjoyed i believe i gotta, I gotta go look, i gotta go yeah. look at it again i have it um i have it at the front of my cabinet I have like all my favorite ones like right at the front so I gotta go look at it. I'll tell you again um okay so I can, so can re-up on it um so let everyone know how they can find you if they want to so purchase you, more but you have one you have another one coming up that yes yeah, so affirmations yeah so it is a trilogy um when you get it and the trilogy is working on the areas that is important to who you become your being and how you show up in the world so the first one is the one that we just talked about this 90 days of self-esteem, self-confidence, self-worth, and uh, self-awareness. The mm -hmm. other one that just came out not too long ago was 90 days of, I don't know if you can see this, self-love and self-care. And this also has um, 20 authors in this book as well. And come February 14th, what will be coming out is 90 days of dream goals and intentional living. Mm -hmm. And again, like I said, these are all the areas that help develop you in person help you with your journey and becoming who you want to become and you can learn more about these books at tlcbookseries.com that's so we probably gonna have to drop that in a comment somewhere but it's yes. tlcbookseries.com and okay. you will be able to get all three books from there if you're interested in the tea it is tealoverscafe.com and if you just want to find me it's just tawan.com t-a-w-w-n <laughs> Yes, yes. Drop all the links. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And how and um, how can they find you on FB? It's just Tawan, right? Um, just Tawan. Uh, it's to, yeah, just Tawan. Um, and, then, and then on Instagram, she is T, T L underscore consultants. consultants. Right. I think I'm on Facebook. Actually, I have to think about that. You know, okay. You, know how you have all these pages on Facebook. I know. I can't keep up either. I can't either. <laughs> <laughs> but if you find the one low person, I, I will always direct you to the um to the business right. page. Um, but yeah. Tawan, thank you so much for speaking with us uh tonight. 
um, for you all that are tuned in or will see this on the replay. If you see this on the replay, please in the comments put um, hashtag replay so I know that you're there um, and listen to this awesome conversation with Tawan Lowe. Thank you so much, Tawan. I, I can shout out to Delena. I actually met Tawan at Delena's Wo Women's Wellness Lounge 10 year anniversary gala. Um, yes. We kind of clicked right away. So I'm so I'm so happy. That's what I love connections. So I'm so happy to have you in the box this month. Um, once again, we have like three boxes left. January is all about affirm and reset. So in this box, you're going to receive Tawan Lowe's book, 90 days of self awareness, self esteem, self confidence and self worth. You are going to receive I don't know if you can see my pen, this affirmation pen sis, it's yours. Uh, by Ooh. inclusive randomness. You will also, I, I'm scared to even try to attempt to show these products because of the, um, because of my fancy virtual background over here. But you're also gonna receive, this is a new product that we haven't included. Um, this is a car diffuser, right? So the fragrance is called Ooh. Reset. So um, with this, you take this fragrance with you on the go. And um, this is by Soy Soyful Aromas. I think it's very cool. Um, and then you don't even have to just have it in the car. You can hang it in your closet as well, but it's fancy. You know, I love nice. packaging and fancy things. Nice. Um, so you receive that car diffuser with a scent reset as well as, now for my bath, my bath lovers and my bath bomb lovers, this is actually a bath bomb powder. So, you know, when you have your favorite mm. bath bomb and you use it, that's it. So now you have an eight ounce bagged bath bomb powder. And oh, that was a smart is, idea. It's very smart. So the scent of this okay. is floral, um, smells divine. I'm sorry, it's a 12 ounce bag. So you'll receive a 12 ounce bag. And the company is Divine Pur Purity. Um, you will also receive, I have not, I get it this weekend. So I will not be shipping out the boxes until um, Wednesday morning because it's the holiday weekend anyway. And um, the last, the last, object is a crystal manifestation pen by the goddess collective um so super excited they're beautiful pens she showed me a picture today of them in route um they're gorgeous pens so when you guys are setting your intentions setting your goals definitely use your manifestation pen um i'm so excited about this box um i've been busy this january just doing the work so um you know how, however i curate the box is really you know, how, whatever, however my, the spirit leads me is how I curate it. So um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Oh, I also include a playlist this, this month. It's the first time I've included a playlist. So I'll have a little card with a QR code you scan and it'll go straight to my Spotify Affirm and Reset playlist. And it's curated with um, affirmation songs that I listen to in the morning. One of my favorite artists um, that does aff affirmation like um, poetry is Toni Jones. She's super dope. So a lot of her songs are on there. And then just songs that get me hyped in the morning after I work out and after I get ready for the day and I want to like set the day on fire. It could be Power by Beyonce or, or a Smile by Kirk Franklin. So it's a great curated playlist. So I um, hope you guys enjoy the playlist. Once again, there's three boxes left. It's the January Affirm and Reset. Just go to the vitaminmbox.com and um, subscribe, become a part of this family. This is where we build our community, support our businesses and tell our stories. We buy Black, support Black every month of the year. It's not a, life, it's not a trend, it's a lifestyle. Um, so definitely join the family. Grab the January box or subscribe and receive a box um, every month of four to five curated products from small black owned businesses. And as you guys know, every third month, I do donate a portion of the proceeds to a charity or nonprofit that aids in building, uplifting and empowering the black and brown community. So we are also a box that pays it forward. So join the family, Tawan. Thank you so much for joining me thank tonight you. on a Friday night. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate it. No problem. <laughs> And thank you guys for joining us today. Once again, if you catch us on the replay, just hashtag, let us know you're here. I'll drop uh, to Juan's websites in the links. The reason if you're talking to me through Facebook and I'm not responding, that's because we're streaming from Zoom. So I'll definitely jump in the um, chat in the comment section and answer any questions that you may have and also tag to Juan so you guys can follow her on her social medias because that's important too.
check out her teas, check out her, this is a trilogy. So check out her other books as well. Um, so Juan, you have a great night. You guys have a great mm -hmm. night. Happy Friday. It's Dr. King weekend. Yes. Um, I don't know if you guys are going out doing some community service, doing, doing the good work, or um, I just had a ball just listening. You know, my son was virtual learning these past two weeks. So I actually got a good ear listen on how he is in class and what they talk about. And they had a cute little Dr. King lesson and he busted out in song. My, my husband has been singing him um, this song about Dr. King since he was a baby. So he shared the song with everybody. So I was very proud of him today. So um, I hope you guys rest this weekend. It's about rest as well. So happy Friday. Have a great weekend, everyone. Tawan, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, definitely follow Tawan, support her. This is an, Oh, one more thing before we leave. Do you have any upcoming events? Because I know you had a vision board party that just ended. Do you have any upcoming events and projects? And let everybody know what area you in. You are in Maryland. Um, uh, yes, I am in the DMV area. We, I am doing the weekend of February 19th, a two-day boot camp. Um, this is a... Um, offset of the uh, Envision Your Future Masterclass that I taught um, just this last weekend. So this will be focusing on goal setting and how to have the goals that need to manifest that vision board because everybody thinks they can just look at their vision board and, and prop it up. Just gonna come. Let the, Everything is just going to happen. Let's collect and that's it. That, that, that's it. So um, if you go to my website, you can find more information there. But yes, a two-day boot camp because people just don't believe in goal setting. Never <laughs> it's a lot of work. It, it, if you do it properly, it's, it really is a lot of work and it's overwhelming. And I understand mm -hmm. that. But that's also what gets us to the next level and us to level up. So yeah, awesome. when you see that's February somebody, 19th? That weekend, February, whatever the two dates are. It's after Valentine's Day, so nobody can sit with you up in their boot time. Smart. <laughs> Smart. Yeah. And yeah, I think um, what part of Maryland? Where, where, I'm where, in Brandywine, Maryland. Maryland. Yes, it will be virtual. That's, oh, okay, great. Virtual. So it's virtual. Yeah, this All is right. a virtual event because um, we are our priorities that everybody stay safe. You can be in Portland and still be safe. Um, right. So, yes, it's virtual. But I am in the Brandywine area of um, the DMV. Okay, awesome. So um, you can always send me the information or if I see you posted, I will share it. So people me. can know. All right, you, have a great you. night. Have a great night, everyone. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. <laughs>